Madness has descended upon Adelaide, the gather round, bringing AFL fans together all in one place for a four-day festival of footy. And where we find madness at the centre of it is usually Tony Jones. TJ, it's the City of Churches and you're in heaven right now, aren't you? Well, Ali, I've got to say, if this is heaven, give me hell any day of the week because uh, I tell you what, it is not the place to be if you are a Victorian. Having said that, though, uh, normally it is really fraught with danger being over here. But as you can see, like people are coming in all variety of colours and all variety of uh, club colours and the like, and they're making everyone feel welcome, whether you're a Victorian, whether you're a West Australian, even from New South Wales and Queensland, for that matter. So that's the sort of festival that it is, and it was uh, a a real roll of the dice for the AFL in many ways last year, but Adelaide embraced it. The state government, I'm not pushing their barrow, but Peter Malinowskis, <laughs> who every state wants to have as their Premier, apparently, I mean, he got on board and just turned it into this absolute festival that everyone's actually getting involved in, whether it be kids, whether it be mums and dads or granddads and grandmums, for that matter. Well, I mean, it's the only the second time the AFL's got all the teams in the one city for the same round. But, you know, TJ's, you know, with movies, the sequel isn't always as good as the original, right? <laughs> No, that's right. That's right. And, uh, you know, I've got to say <laughs> that, <laughs> that it's... Uh, no, it really is hell, Ali, I've got to tell you. As much and all as it's a nice city, it is hell here at the moment. But, uh, no, they've, uh, they've actually done it every bit as good as what last year was. And it will only get better for whatever length of time they have this for because the Barossa Valley will also come into play at some stage. So at the moment, they spread it out between the Adelaide Oval, uh, mm. Norwood, and also Mount Barker, which is about an hour away from here. So it's great. But as you can see, the crowd which is coming over the footbridge at the moment is phenomenal for the opening match of Gather Round, which is Adelaide and mm. Melbourne. Who knew you had to go all the way to Adelaide to be popular, TJ? But, um, hey, look, the son of the late Shane Warne, he's in Adelaide for the weekend, Jackson. We know he loves the game, but he's also got another very important reason to be there. Yeah, that's right. They've actually got nine heart testing stations dotted around the Adelaide Oval and they trialled this at the MCG during Boxing Day and it literally saved lives. And this is very much Shane Warne's legacy. We know that he was a champion cricketer and a champion bloke in the eyes of many people, but he is literally saving lives now because once he died, so many men and women, and the figures are showing incredibly that heart disease is a bigger killer among women than breast cancer. So uh, nine stations here, they're hoping hoping to get 9,000 people tested and as I said it's all designed to save lives and based on what we saw at the MCG on Boxing Day um, you know they're, they're achieving that goal so yeah it's very much a festival not just football but also health men's health women's health and uh, there's some very unhealthy people here let me tell you Ellie. <laughs> you know I just can't get my head around that you're so popular TJ you know it's the crows and the demons playing tonight can you just give me can you just go go the pies for me I want to see what the crowd does Okay. Does quick, it, quick, quick, does, quick. Does anyone, does anyone know the Collingwood Club song? Collingwood Club song? Job, job. No, oh, no, no, no. no, no. All right, I'm cutting him off. I'm cutting him off. I'm getting out before someone does something dangerously bad to TJ.